Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the ranch here. Smoke me a Lucky Strike cigarette. Watching Pecker the Bird out in the yard play. Folks, we just don't know. So, as I often do, when I sort out breakfast and take care of mom and do my chores, I uh, sit down and watch a movie. Because, why the fuck not, right? Sorry, my nose is running. And, uh, this movie kind of brings up some interesting points people don't talk about. Uh, if you've never seen it, it's a decent movie. You know, Steve Carell flick, you know, dude from The Office. And it's got uh, some British bird in it. It's called Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, right? And kind of brings up some interesting ideas. Number one, would you want to know the time and place the world dies? Number two, would you stay at work? Would you run off? You know, marry a prostitute. Fucking do cheap cocaine with strangers. Drink too much. Fall down. Would you end it early? Would you sit back and pour yourself a drink and light a lucky strike and watch the world die like I would? Would you tell your family you loved them? Would you tell your family you hated them? Would you knock people out that pissed you off in life? Would you harm others? These are the questions one has to ask oneself. And why do they matter? Well, we're all preparing for one eventuality or the other, right? At some phase in our life. You know, my problem was a lot of died suddenly and then life fell apart. And I'm just now rebuilding it. You know, other people, you know, they're preparing for the end of the world and other stupidity, right? You know, that's kind of the thing, is, you know, sure, an asteroid might hit, they might name it Matilda even, you know, like in the movie. But at the end of the day, we're all left to our own devices. We all have a time clock, if you will, an expiration date. <sighs> Some of us are all too familiar with that, right? Death claims us all in the end. Much like the noisy goddamn freight train and the trash truck running around. But mom asking stupid questions. Some things are just certain in life. We're all going to die, but have we ever truly lived? I have. I even had quite a bit of fun when I was a young man, if you believed it or not. Oh, sure, I might have gotten in trouble a bit, and I might have hurt some people. I might still have a warrant in Nevada from my failed marriage that I don't even remember having. Uh, yeah. What can you do, right? I guess I should check on that at some point. Check on her. You know, I guess strippers get quite angry when you get them pregnant and run off out of town. And, uh, you know, shit happens, right? But would you let Hoppy Easter Bunny come out to play, right? Even though you shouldn't give the keys to your bulldozer. And you should spray your vodka with Easter Bunny repellent. You know, because Hop's a bastard. Much like the noisy damn trash truck. But these are the questions real men ask, you know? Do you just sit back and watch the world die, or do you go out and have yourself a good time? The answer can be all of the above. Hey, I'm not going to judge you here. Four news you have today. And some of you might not even have all of today, and that's fine. Make the most of it. Make your life matter. Make yourself mean something. Because eventually the world's going to die, and so are we. And uh, the choice is really ours, what the fuck we do with it. Life's a choose-your-own-adventure, man. So, have one. And as always, take care, God bless. Uh, lucky Strike burns my fingers, and it's time for me to shut my pie hole and go watch TV. And get some adulting done. So, as always, uh, take care, God bless. And until we meet again, eat my shorts, Internet.